The first step is to install the 3 system working table engraving device. I'll bring the turntable, the driver, the machine driver cable and the energy cable for the driver. First, I'll connect the power cable, then the rotary table cable to the drive and finally the driver cable to the machine. So then we will connect the driver to the port number 4 and next plug into the wall. As we can see this table is much larger than other models. I will set it up outside the working area to engrave right in the center. Once we find the rotary table's best position, we can adjust it with nuts and screws into the working area. But for this video, I'll leave the turntable and screw it with the work table below. We paste a black paper board right in the middle of the working table. I go to the software and I will draw a small square. Then I go to the hatch tool and I will give it a single hatch as we see on the screen. The engraving parameters will be 1500 speed, 20% power and 30% of frequency. Now I go to the option laser and we will choose rotate angle mark 2. Then I press F3 and I will check that the parameters are correct. For this motor we will use a 25600 pulse. If you need to know which is the proper configuration to your motor and you have one of our models, do not hesitate, contact us, we will help you immediately to set up your rotary work table. We will choose 360 and to start we will select the division of 4 which will help us make 4 marks to check if our rotary table is adjusted. We will see the red light of the sensor. We will let the material sensor do its job and once we hear the alarm we will press F1. Now I will move it manually to fit in the engraving area I need. The last step is adjust and press F2 and the table will start to make 4 engraving each one with a 90 degree difference. Once the engraving is finished, the rotary will turn to the same starting point. If we take a rule, we will see that we have a circle divided into 4 parts. Now we can divide our circle into more parts, 6, 8, 16 parts or more. In this example, I will divide it into 8 parts to engrave at each point. I'll go back to the software and write 8. Then I press F2. Once finished, it will return to the initial engraving. Now I will be able to do the same process with more divisions. Once the motor and work table are set in correctly, I will set up the engraving mold that I already built. This is a mold for tumblers, 
And if you want to know more about making this type of molds, visit our page web www.bargelaser.com slash blogs, where you can find more information about laser machinery, tutorials, and what you should know before buying a laser machine or after, in case you already have one. Once the mold is set, let the machine sensor update the working area and put the tumblers on. Now I put my tumblers close to the material sensor and I will let the sensor do its job. Once we hear the sensor alarm, we'll be ready to go. The next step is to come back to the software and make a small square. I will center it, change the parameters to be able to engrave on this material and then I press it 1. I will see the square over my material and I will arrange the position of my work table first, just right in the center. While F1 is active, I can move the square with the keyboard's right or left arrows. I will move the engraving slowly to the area where I want to start marking the test. and then I press F2. I've been changing the parameters to see which is the best engraving that I can achieve over this material. Once I set my engraving parameters, I can import the engraving vector. For this example, it will be this cyclopen, which I will adjust in size. I will set up the hatch and adjust the design in the engraving area of my tumblers. Remember that we are using laser machine with 2D head for this video, which does not fully engrave in a large cylindrical area. If you want to engrave a large logo on cylindrical areas, you will need 3D head or a rotary engraving device, which you can see in our videos and our website. Now I will rotate my design 90 degrees and I will ready to run this test mark. Once everything is within what seems to us as good engraving, we will be prepared to start the engraving in production. Our mold is fixed for 6 tumblers, so I will choose 6 and start to engrave my products. I hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our page web www.barchlaser.com slash blogs. There you will find more information about this engraving technology and see you in the next video.